Hi, John here. Today is Saturday the 10th of June 2017 and I'm just uh, spent all morning uh, putting together some uh, response to what I, sh I think should happen after the elections are being uh, <coughs> finished with Theresa May having not a majority lead, but with DUP party. She's now limited to what they have to say, and also the government uh, in Parliament, uh, now that she hasn't got a clear majority. Anyway, I've spent a bit of time putting together where we fit inside Westminster with this flag of King William IV and the Paramount Chiefs here in New Zealand. I'm going there as the Sheriff and Surrogate King William IV with this flag on the uh, paramount side of 1834 Declaration of War flag is what this is that's been causing all the problems in the world through Queen Elizabeth and her representatives here the Prime Minister and Governor-General of New Zealand, where she's got her business here in Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court. So, I'm going to read it out to you, uh, what I said, and see what the response is with a petition for King Ernest Augustus to be nominated as the King of Britain, UK, Hanover and New Zealand Pacific Islands and the Commonwealth countries of the world, 250 countries with this flag under our <coughs> addition into Westminster as the other partner missing in all these 183 years of this flag that's been used to create revenue for the King's conquered lands and leases, occupation land titles that I'm familiar with and putting into practice now on Cook Street here. <coughs> <coughs> now, the chiefs here uh, are readying themselves to go to Britain and show up on the Admiralty Magistrate Court in Trafalgar Square with the First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones, and the First Lord of the Treasury, Theresa May, and her 20 years as a House Home Secretary of State and her position as being more leaning towards the EU Parliament and the elite people who have scored nicely out of all the commerce that's come out of this flag of Admiralty in the Magistrate Court. Now we have set up the native Magistrate Court of our own, equal to the King, a paramount chief being equal to the King, and that has only been recent as far as 2004, Foreshaw and Seabed Act here, when I was doing Mohi Manikau's Y121, Treaty of Waitangi Claims, to the Foreshore and Seabed. That's when Helen Clark passed the law in the Foreshore and Seabed Act 2004. I've been heavily involved with the paramount side of this flag in the 1835 Declaration of Independence side. But when I met with Charles Hirschfeld, he's got all the documents way back to 2004, Foreshore and Seabed Act, myself and Mohi Manukau and Sue Nagora. That word paramount does not appear in any of Maori's documents, Cook Island documents, or anywhere in the Pacific documents. They never have that word paramount. They only have Arikis. So everyone in the Maori side of the Declaration of Independence and Maori organisations, Maori Land Court, Maori Treaty Claims, Maori <coughs> Call of What You Like, FOMA, Federation of Maori Authority. They do not have that word paramount 
in their literature or their documents on claims at 1840 because the Crown here in New Zealand won't let them use those titles. They're not allowed to use them or go back to 1835 or beyond 1840. Only a paramount chief can do that. And that's why Bundy Waitai, Hiriwini Karaka and Manahi Parapara Mohini are now paramount chiefs under this Moriori Manukau title that's registered in the Manukau Company in Edinburgh, Scotland. Okay, that was set up by the paramount chiefs of Te Rawaikato Wharahere of Manukau in Cambridge on his Mangatauteri Pa tribal site. He went to England with Kendall, Bishop Kendall, to translate the native language, <coughs> the native language, into <coughs> English language. And at the same time, he constructed the land registry titles to transfer the Manukau title lands to New Zealand, Moriori into English to make these documents of certificates of title for birth certificates and land title, native land title certificates on the size of New Zealand that he knew what it looked like and described it <coughs> over there. And that's what I'm going there for, to take these paramount sheets because there's no money cows left to do it. They would not know all the information I've got here of the Freemasons, which Mohi was 50 years in the Freemasons, selling these lands here, right under their nose. And that's the part they didn't know. No one knew up at Waitangi until I opened my mouth and told them all about it. You see, it's just only recent. <clears throat> on the <clears throat> 6th of February 2017 I told them what this was all about. So now Bundy and Hiruini or Sawan Clark and Manahi Parapara Mohini have now taken the 1834 side of the flag of the Moriori title Moriori Manukau title from Riku or Chatham Islands, that's their own country, the closest country to here that New Zealand government switched that island into this title. But if you separate it back where I'm going, it's another country like Samoa and Cook Islands. That's just another island that these Manukau, Moriori, linked to the pyramids in Africa, had that island, that was their island. And they came here and brought those names here, from Manukau there to Manukau here, in the harbour here. That's why the British picked them as the landowners, the commercial landowners in this title over there, that no one else, the Cook Island people, cannot touch that title because the Queen's got them tied up in Rarotonga and the Cook Islands. They're tied up over there and they come here from there. That's the difference. That's the Queen's side on the 1835 side of the titles. So different jurisdictions of Admiralty, Vice Admiral, that's a Vice Admiral. The only Admiral is this Moriori title in Glasgow and Westminster and the World Court. Nothing to do with the Cook Islands. Just straight Manukau title, okay? Parapara title. Manukau and the Parapara, Parapara, go together. Those two were the originals as far as the British are concerned. This is what I've got here. All the documents here. <coughs> Doesn't say anything about the Cooks. 
Captain Cook came here but never colonized it to Britain. It was not colonized to Britain. Only colonized in the 1820 to 1830 period while Te Rawaikato was there. They were selling the land here straight from Britain with his native title there. And that title only came alive here on the birth certificate in 1831 at Tiki Tiki on my land blocks in the St. Mary's Church that became a title straight to Britain and that Manukau title there as native. Okay? And the first title was the 1830 Manukau title. You can see those titles there, the birth certificates online on my site as citations, evidence, fact. And the church in Tiki Tiki on the Whakawhitira native court there with our Wano and Ka, Reverend Ka, Reverend Wano, Toro Wano, titles, links that Whakawhitira native court to the Awaroa native court in Helensville, that's the Manukau title, the Moriori Manukau title is in that Awaroa native court that put the Awaroa bank together that became the BNZ Bank of New Zealand, that became the League of Nations Bank, and that became the World Bank, the United Nations, and then the World Bank, and, and that's where that is now, that title, back into the World Court in Brussels, Belgium. That's our title I'm talking about with this flag on the 1834 side that nobody knows about, no one knows about. They're only listening to it from me, the executor and administrator of that Manukau Moriori business and the Moai Crown Native Taijin business. The two memorials, the Manukau Memorial is the carving, the four pillars carving, that's nobody else's business. That's only the Manukau and the Waikato Chief Kafaru title. They put that together and buried it in the Kaipara Harbour and hid it in the mud because if it got found, it was going to be taken and burnt. And it was returned to Mohi Manaka and he cleaned it up and that's what you see on my site, citation, that's the title, the Moriori title to this country, New Zealand, and from the Rekohu Island, Chatham Islands, Rekohu, <coughs> to Raki, Taranaki, Mount Taranaki, to Aoraki, Mount Cork, to Mount Hikarangi. Aoraki, or Aorangi, is the same name on Mount Hikarangi next to it, and Whakawhitira native court there on the way to Tiki Tiki from Ruatoria. It's on the way back to Tiki Tiki, closer to Tiki Tiki and the St. Mary's Church at 1831. All of this was going on. That's my title. My family, Wānoa, Royal Tahitian title to the Maui statue right there in that church at 1831 straight to Rapanui, to Mokonui, on my Urupa in Whakangiangi. <coughs> Mokonui, Mokonui, big face, to Rapanui, big shine, sun, ra, midday, 6 a.m. at Mokonui, and Tepito, from Tepito, on East Island to Tipito on Marangaro land blocks and this Mokonui on the hill, Urupa right on top of the hill, the highest part in the whole of the Portikirua area in Waipu and around <coughs> the whole region of Uetaha, Tupuna, in that area the chief, right, straight to 
Rapa Nui. Rapa Nui and to Moko Nui. Big shine, son. Rapa Nui to Moko Nui. Big face. Right? Those, that's the title. 12 noon, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. in London. Right? You got that? Triangle. Right? 6 a.m. here on the East Cape. 6 p.m. London. And 12 noon, East Island. 12 midnight, East Island. 6 p.m. East Cape. Tipito. Mokonui. And 6 uh, 6 a.m. in London. Six, the opposite way around. A square inside a circle of light. Perfect title. So that's what I'm saying there. We're putting this all together in this connection we have with these chiefs straight into Westminster Parliament on a big change in the way the commerce is going to go around the world in 250 countries with this flag, free passage through the world, and us leading the charge from the native side of the lands that were conquered by the king, not by the queen, by the kings. Conquered the lands and leased the lands out and put occupation titles on the lands and they can be terminated at any stage if we dissolve the trust over there with the queen. We're going to dissolve her and the Queen Victoria Trust into the King William IV Moai Crown Trust for the people and take away all the fraud out of it when we get there. <clears throat> we go to the World Bank, the World Court, that's our court, and resolve that with the Freemasons. We're going to kind of deal with them, and that's my job, because I um, told you now what Mohi Manukau was sworn to the oath of the Freemasons, not to say anything. Well, I have now, you know now. And all of you get your heads shot off, including the Atlanta North. They wouldn't know how that worked until I'm telling them and teaching them. And all you people around the world online have been watching all this going on. And these ones only just started to learn. You already know in Britain all this. You already know I'm supposed to be over there. And these ones were still asleep. They only just woke up. <coughs> and thanks to Bundy has pushed the issues. And He'll be leading that side of things. He's there for Hongi Hika in Te Hapu, North. Um, Hongi Hika being more Cook Island side, but that's what I'm saying. That's the Yariki side of the line. And you've got a difference between that side and the Paramount side nobody had before. So I'm taking charge of that responsibility to keep that in order with what I was promised to do by Mohi Manukau to keep that legacy going smack on right on target. So um, Manahi will be looking after the Manukau side until I get with the Manukau people down in Mungatotari. Uh, I'll, I'll be putting things back in place there. That's where the mana is to Cambridge to Cambridge in England <coughs> and where Te Rawaikato had set up all this. He had the brains to do it. And so I'm picking up on all of that real estate. And that's the bit that's missing I'm saying to Bundy. He can't walk in with nothing out of thin air with no trail to go with it. It's all in Graham Allett, Allett Investigations um, in Browns Bay, up that way and uh, with Charles Hirschfeld. Those are two lawyers, barristers, that have got all this information right back to 2004. Okay, so uh, Charles Hirschfeld is on our land blocks uh, with Manahi. Manahi's on the land blocks at Rangitukia, Tiki Tiki, and also involved with the church there, St. Mary's Church. That church links to the St. Mary's Church in Parnell, Auckland, to that Government House in Epsom. <clears throat> we had our held our hui's with 
Mahimanika Tuinga Marae in Epsom, and uh, we had all our hui's there uh, for the Moriori um, uh, Manukau title. And we had a few people um, obligated to that turned up to the meetings. I haven't forgotten about you. You're, you're, you're in, in, in there. But for those who think that um, they got title to the Moriori title in Auckland, no, there's nobody. There's nobody that's got a title to Auckland on this side because <coughs> it's straight Moriori. I know all the names that belong to the Moriori tribe, okay? The Manukau tribe's men. They got blown off the land at, uh, <coughs> at uh, Manukau heads and that was the responsibility of the Ngāti Whātua and the uh, Ngāpuis and the Tainuis who, who, who sold that land there uh, with um, this uh, Refere for Manika. So really they were selling the land that was already sold in the first place from Britain, uh, Westminster and uh, Scotland. So no problem there. There's no um, animosity towards anyone saying it's my land or the other one saying it's their land and, and saying it's Tainui's land or anybody else's. I'm going to make sure that it's equally divided right through, not forgetting that the uh, Maoris here have their rightful place in the 1835 side of the flag to sort out this government because they are the ones that have been uh, worse hit the most and not so much the Moriori's have lost a lot of people and land at the same time as well but the Moriori's have a different claim to the Maori claim. That's what I'm saying here. I, I've always known that, but I've never told anybody. Because Mohi didn't say, don't tell anybody. He just said, I trust you. I trust you in your better judgment to make sure everything goes right. Because he's a Ratana man, and the Ratana won't tell me what to do. It's just natural for me not to say anything that Nobody was listening to him anyway. No one was listening to each other anyway. It quite funny. No one was listening to me either. They're still not now. There's only a very few listening to me. But all those ones online now, thank you very much um, that you're supporting uh, me. Those ones I sent emails out to. Uh, I'm saying it's yours. It, it belongs to you. I'm going to give it all back. I, I, I don't need the land. I just need the justice and look after the bank and what's coming back and I'll make sure nobody's going to run off with it. And that's what I'm fearing. That's what Sue Nagora said. Watch out for this one, watch out for that one. I, I, I should need not worry about anyone because they don't have these documents. The British know, the Freemasons know, all those clever fellows know that You've got a lot way, long way to catch up with all this lot. You've got to have all of that behind you, not just one little bit here and one little bit there and say, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. No. You've got to know where the hang you got it from and how did you get it and where's the paperwork? Where, 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 whose name is on the documents in Britain? Don't see your name here. You see? Your names are not there because... It was exclusively Manukau and Maui and Wano in the church, there, in the car, see, and, and others that are privy to it, see, a lot of people don't know what this flag really means, it's more than just a flag, in fact it's a king's flag, it's a bank flag, it's a flag that allows business anywhere in the world without hindrance because it's got its own laws to protect against pirates between here and England. Nowhere else, just between us and the king people over there. Well, now the queen's gone and busted the whole lot up and chucked the Muslims in there. They don't come from there. They don't put the Muslims back in their country, give them money and tell them, go and look after your land. God gave you that land. Tell 
those fellows to get off it. All those other ones that came from England and send them back to England. See? Or if they're happy to keep them, keep them there. But the ones that are mischievous pirates, kick them out. Send them somewhere else. Right? Uh, so I'm going to right. I'm going to t tell you what I just did and read it out to you. My response to <coughs> three degrees, thirty-eight degrees. There, okay, thirty-eight degrees. So I'm going to hold this camera up, and try and hold it up straight this time because last time I uh, dropped it too low. So I'm going to start a com campaign for a petition to put. Um, um, Ernest Augustus back into there. Ernest Augustus here. That's him there in life and his wife, Prince Caroline of Monaco. And there's his ancestor there, um, Ernest Augustus uh, I, uh, the brother of King William IV and King uh, George IV and their father, King George III. So these are all linked into this commerce in Brussels, the world court, where everything's run from by the Freemasons. I'm telling you the story about Mohi Manukau and the Freemasons. I've got it all here. I've got everything here. So I was telling the Bundy, don't shortcut. Don't, don't try and shortcut because those guys are watching us, watching him, watching me. I've been, I've been very good to keep Mohi's promise to make sure no one tempers or interferes with this contract. This is a contract. It's nobody else's contract. And I'm the executor of this contract with the British establishment and the world court where these titles are. With this guy here should be the king of Britain. He is the, he is the reigning monarch, sovereign, king of Britain, UK, Hanover. That guy, right? And I'm petitioning him to go back into Westminster and take his title away from the Queen. She has abandoned ship and gone into EU Parliament to hide under King uh, William III's of Orange title, thinking that she's safe there. No, we're going straight into that court. We already got the Confederation of Chiefs uh, uh, Sunakura has already got the documents with Charles Hirschfeld to go there. He's got everything to go there into that royal court and that's her job with Kingy on the 1835 side to go there to get their Queen Victoria Trust back. We're going to that court to take her over. We're going there at 1834 with the Manukau title. There should have been Manukau Chiefs with me but they're all asleep. They don't know all this in Mangatotari. They wouldn't have a clue what I'm talking about. And they don't have the documents. I've got them here. They are nothing to do with their family. It's a Freemason's contract. That's right? And Mohi was doing it for his Moriori people. So it's all the Moriori people and Manahi is one of them. I, I can't see anybody else. That's the one that I've chosen. I can pick them all out. I know who's who. Who's a Moriori. Okay? You can tell the way they talk. Um, so we'll go back to here. That's the general election. So this is what I picked and filled it out this morning. How are you feeling about the results? Tick as many as apply. And I've sent it off to them but it hasn't gone through because I think I've put too many words or something or I haven't filled something out properly. And so I put my, my thoughts right through and sent it through but I'll do that later. I, I'll put it on Facebook and you can see it after, but I'll, I'll just read it out what I've sent. There it is there. I'll read it right out now. Ngātua Wā Aotea Limited, New Zealand, Auckland, New Zealand. That's a registered company with one of a trillion shares here in New Zealand as a parent company. And then we've got Maui, Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited, Brighton, UK, England. That's got one billion shares. Out of the 250 countries, we'll have a billion shares in each of those countries joined up. Okay, so that's the parent, that is the satellite, uh, one, of, one, one of 250 countries here set up. <coughs> the Nātuewa Limited Company will be um, a debt company, debt, and the other one's a credit 
companies. So it's always going to be run into debt here. Uh, okay, 38 degrees, David Babs, he's the one that wrote to me. And uh, get out of the way. Um, so I'm saying it's got to answer your question here in this section, how are you feeling about the results? Tick as many as apply. Theresa May is the first Lord of the Treasury, belonged to King William III and King William IV Admiralty Court Martial Law Magistrate Court in the Admiralty Building Trafalgar Square, Buckingham Palace, beside Sir Philip Jones, the first Lord of the Sea, our New Zealand Paramount Chiefs and Sheriff's Creditor, 1831 to 1834. Commercial Trading Bank Flag of Admiralty Private Contract Business Partners locked in the Royal Court in Brussels on King William III of Orange, King William IV Maui Crown Sovereign Authority Land Partnership, Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court Revenue Inheritance tied to King Ernest Augustus V, reigning monarch of Britain, UK, Hanover, New Zealand and Pacific Islands. Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World, New World Order, a point star of St. Patrick's County Creditor <coughs> for the King's Royal Revenue Collection Agency and 1831 Tiki Tiki Ulster, Poverty Bay, Lord Gisborne, that's the city, <coughs> Eastgate, New Zealand, St. Mary's Church Legal Live Birth Death Marriage Certificate Instruments, used as certificate bonds on the New York Stock Exchange instruments from 1831 King William IV reign, 1830 to 1837 period, under our King William IV, 1834, <coughs> Admiralty Flag Sovereign State Dual Government Authority jurisdiction, jurisdiction with Britain. The New Zealand native Paramount Chiefs and me, the surrogate King William IV, Moai Crown, King William IV Trust Bank Creditor, are coming to Britain to audit our HM Treasury accounts <coughs> and our Queen Victoria Trust Fund set up in 1844 as the 1835 Queen Victoria Trust set up for her Maori native Iwi people contracts separated from the Moai native Tahitian Moriori Mo Cook Island Paramount Chiefs King William IV, King William III, King George III, father of King Ernest Augustus I, King George IV and King William V, fourth successors in the 2017 King Ernest Augustus V, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, New Zealand and Pacific Islands world in 250 countries world court brussels king solomon william the conqueror king william the third and king william the fourth king's emperors conquered lands title holders john one hour paramount chiefs native customary legal advocate assignee moai crown bank creditor sheriff representing the 250 countries under the 1834 Declaration of War State of Emergency flag, King William IV gave the Paramount Chiefs as his, his legitimate and legal partner in business to all native lands conquered in the world under his reign and New York Stock Exchange he set up for our partnership of Admiralty Business. The ultimatum for Maui Crown is to raise this flag in Westminster Parliament, London, UK, raise it in the Magistrate Court in Paddington, <coughs> London, raise in William Yard in Devon, Port, Plymouth and Plymouth County Court, raise in Edinburgh Magistrate Court, Scotland and raise in the World Court in Brussels. The elections in Britain address to you, David Babs, from me, John Wanawa, in Auckland, New Zealand, ready to travel to London, pending the close and opening day of Westminster Parliament UK. We should be there before the opening of Parliament with the petition in place on the strength of our evidence, 
on 80 Facebook sites, YouTube, Twitter, Google, and MoaiPowerhouse.com website. We look to raise funds for the trip through 38 degrees as well as kick off a campaign from scratch zero to be honest. Your thoughts on this, please, David Babs. To answer your questionnaire in this section, how are you feeling about the results after this election that um, Theresa May has now won with a, a reduced majority? Tick as many as apply. Watch one. Watch what DUP political agenda is now, is and how it will be a good thing for Brexit or not, as far as trade development is concerned. I will comment on what policies they have and how it will affect the country and its Commonwealth countries, including our own influence here in New Zealand, will have a great, greater impact on the outcomes of a Brexit government with our Admiralty flag fitted into Britain as a controlling entity from the Pacific Islands water expanse area as still in British Westminster control and not EU Parliament as what TPPA and around the corner politicians are doing in New Zealand and with America as a conflict of interest to our two-way private Admiralty flag contract with Westminster Parliament. A major milestone change in politics when we step in as the missing spirit link that the Crown... Oh, that thing's in the road. Corporation has masked over thinking we are dead. Not so. We are a factor in the New World Order Brussels World Court with this only king's flag in the world, dormant no more. We are coming to the table with the deeds of truth, honesty, that is missing in Westminster for a complete shake-up in politics from a king's flag commercial land ownership legal aspect. We are who we are and what we propose to do now for the native land chiefs of the world and their occupiers of their lands linked back to the old Britain we know as safety in numbers under the King's common law, security and not the Queen's one-sided elite royal family one-way road that benefits no one but themselves. I will strip their policies next week for you and tell you how best the revised limits of Theresa May's government can achieve with Maui Crown Memorial standing in London as the spirit law why Queen Victoria uplifted my Wanoa ancestors Maui Memorial statue of East Island on her HMS Topaz in 1868 and planted them in London hidden for over 100 years as her commercial private Admiralty ship contract memorial title to God's Earth Planet creation without authority from my Wānoa Royal Tahitian Families Native Spirit Land Title Memorial to God's the Creator of Heaven and Earth is what I am coming there to claim back his mana Earth Spirit. Title Instruments with the Moriori Manukau Man's Law Land Title Instruments that I have its original native titles that the Freemasons and Catholic Church and Church of England stole of our native lands and other native lands we are representing as the King's partner in business with King William III and King William IV seals, flags and private contract flag receipt that's our flag is the receipt of a legitimate and legal two-party private contract between New Zealand Pacific Islands and King William IV sovereign monarch. And it says, how are you feeling about the results now that Theresa May is in with a, uh, a limited majority? Tick as many as apply. So I've gone on with this comment. I will be actively involved from here on in with my team in Scotland and Brighton, England and London, UK. From now on targeting a petition to nominate King Ernest Augustus V 
to the throne to replace Queen Elizabeth II standing in front of the royal court facing the Maori 1835 Confederation of Chiefs Complaints Authority Tribunal and standing in front of Maori Crown Federal State Paramount Chiefs King William III Eight Point Star Maui Crown Power Note Bank Creditor King William IV 1834 Declaration of War State of Emergency Flag Financial Martial Law Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court in Auckland, New Zealand and in William Yard, Devonport, Plymouth and Westminster Magistrate Court, Paddington, London trial case of treason against her and her Rothschild Bank family and City of London private company, Washington DC private company <coughs> and Vatican City private company and IMF World Bank, United Nations, European Union, NATO, ISIS, Israel, FBI, Queen Elizabeth II, Buckingham Palace, Bank of England, Crown Corporation Companies, Panama Papers, Private Corporation Companies. Those are all private corporation companies. With ex-Prime Minister John Key and Ambassador for New Zealand Jerry Mataparai Andrews. This is the Panama Papers I'm talking about. The criminal activity and that criminal dealings on our 1834 Declaration of War, Admiralty Trading Bank flag of bank creditor, jurisdiction and legal authority to force our writ of occupation, position, property, arrest, seizure, defaulted, private contract, writ warrants against all you see named as criminal fraudsters wanted for treason, espionage, conspiracy to defraud, to defraud, theft of land and birth certificates, identity, displacement of native peoples from their lands by force against their own sovereign law, genocide, murder, assassination, inducing and creating bankers' war for profit against settled countries to steal their land and children using and abusing our King William III, King William IV, 1831 to 1834 Declaration of War flag cited as fact evidence publicly notified Crown Moai Crown King William the Fourth Crown sealed Admiralty Court Martial Law Crown and Anchor flagged Moai Powerhouse Bank Moai Power what Moai Pound Note, Creditors Recovery, Writ of Execution and Property Arrest Warrant, Levy Debtor Instruments, and Legal Documents and Live Statements, Citations, Fact Evidence, as the King's Commercial Contract Visual Live Video Affidavits. Uncontested, unrebutted, no counterclaims lodged, no third parties to this two-party King Paramount Chiefs contract. It's published on our Moai Crown 1,075 plus YouTube videos as evidence. Twitter sites, there's over 3,000 followers on the Twitter sites, <coughs> mostly business. 80 Facebook sites that we have uh, for the, all these uh, documentations and uh, videos uh, you can see on there as well on Facebook every detail of evidence and their photos of John Key as being instrumental in the bank's fraudulent Panama Papers cover-up okay and the uh, most of the fraud here done through the courts and the lawyers barristers and judges uh, and politicians are all in the 970 million trillion trillion pound note levy debt instrument on their heads. Uh, so we have uh, Twitter sites, 80 Facebook sites, and the MoaiPowerhouse.com website, and you'll see all the details there, and other social media outlets and 38 degrees 
Thanks to your media attention for who we are now a major player in British banking and commercial country, Commonwealth countries, private and public financial banking investment interests versus the elite private bank investment interest. We have the most powerful British King's commercial trading bank flag in the world. We'll literally open the whole world in 250 countries of free passage and trade in these King's name and fact that Moai Crown is standing in Brussels. France, this is the real Moai statue, is standing in Brussels, standing in France, Britain, Washington DC, New York, Chile, Dunedin and Auckland, New Zealand as our link to you people in Britain, UK. Moai statue memorial is God's spirit title to this earth planet that's been wrecked by the Queen and her pirates on the other side of the ledger. Let's start a petition off on this certainty path to financial freedom and take this new phenom phenomenon to the people of the world from Britain, UK and little old New Zealand where the Crown, Queen Elizabeth II has hidden herself with her own private business with nowhere to run now but she is already in the world court waiting for you all and us to go get back what she has stolen from HM Treasury London and our Queen Victoria Trust and carted it all off to Brussels which belongs to King William III, King William IV Admiralty Court Bench Bank and Moai Crown Sheriff Bank Creditor and Paramount Chiefs, commercial landowners of New Zealand on behalf of you British citizens getting run over by Muslims brought in by the Jesuit Queen Elizabeth II and her Scottish Freemasons carving you up in tiny pieces. These are my true answers to the general election what's next. Sincerely John Wanoa Director. So here we've I've screen printed the um, application that I've filled out this questionnaire for uh, 38 degrees <coughs> and stuck it there and I'm going to email it out to um, the Paramount Chiefs and the um, other email um, people who have stayed in with those Paramount Chiefs and split themselves off from Hinefare, Harawira and the other ones who have pulled out. There's about seven or eight of them have pulled out of that email group so that just tells me these people wanted more information which is free to them and uh, this is to the benefit of the hapu not the iwi maori not the iwi maori this is to the native hapu and under the maui brand name and moriori manukau brand names okay those two entities nothing else we're going under those two entities and nothing else <clears throat> the Moai Crown, which is our memorial to the world. King William the Fourth title memorial in Devon, Port, William Yard, Plymouth County. And King William the Third of Orange in um, Brussels, Belgium, as our world court. That's our court with this flag going up in there as our authority as partners equal in uh, Paramount Chief's status only in New Zealand uh, applies only to the native in New Zealand and not to the rest of the world. They have their own portion as far as Mohi Manukau is concerned of what they're entitled to from the land here. All the other countries have their own land titles and their own jurisdictions to follow with this title of the Manukau um, Moriori title and the Moai Crown title separated off the Maori side of Arikis and everyone here and that's what I'm doing with the other four Pākehā or European uh, side of the eight of us on the Commonwealth country um, the Moai Crown Federal State Commonwealth Government of the world 
title holding on Cornwall Park in Auckland, New Zealand, and on Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, will be seized back for that property to set up what Mohi Manaka wanted that land back in his title as being um, one of all the rest of the titles in the Auckland province area that stretches down the east coast. Um, so everyone knows that already and I'll explain that as time goes by. So we'll go on to this page. There's, um, like, there's the petition we're going to be setting up for Ernest Augustus. He's, he's always been the king, the legitimate king and legitimate princess Caroline of Monaco. Those two are married and they were approved by Queen Elizabeth II to be monarch royal. And so she, he has more status than the queen because she has no real coronation. Uh, it has only been um, fabricated uh, for her, not the scone. Uh, so she's, um, she's um, absent in that side. There's the Whakameninga native um, court. That's the one we're going under there, the, the Whakameninga native chief's 1834 declaration of war flag, which is what this flag is for making business. That flag is made for making business in the world uh, of um, the kings. Um, page, I'll go back to the page. So this is the main page where King William, uh, King Kingy Todor is. Kingy will be going separate with me into Westminster and the World Court for his Queen Victoria title. Queen Victoria being the niece of King William the Fourth down that bloodline of King Edward that followed along after King William the Fourth. Uh, then King Edward was there with Queen Victoria. So he has the right to be there, separated from the Moriori title. And there's our flag flying on the mast at the top, where it should have been long ago, as the flag of New Zealand. And I put it like that, and how it should be, the um, British flag on one side and the New Zealand flag on the other side. Okay, New Zealand flag here, British flag here. And those are Navy flags. They are not a King's flag. They are not a bank flag. This is the only bank flag on this ship of Admiralty. The only ship on dry land anywhere in the world is this one in Waitangi. And that's the one that this government here has been usurping. And um, making uh, money out of it right under the noses of Maori and Mohi and I knew this all along and they've been trying to put the flag up the top of the flagpole and it won't work because they're not in this British 1834 flag contract. This, this is the British ship at Waitangi and uh, Kingi is the um, Chief of that marae and the oldest on that marae. Hang on, I'll just put this down and lessen the picture size. Bring it down so that it's... Um, okay, here we go. Now we've got back down smaller. And now you can see the ship there with the flag flying. That's where it should be to take over New Zealand. But I really didn't want to take the government out, but limit them to what they can and can't do with the land, the resources and everything else. That's me and Kingy there on Waitangi. I've been and I'm wearing the shirt with um, those kings um, 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 regalia on it, the um, coat of arms of King William IV and Hanover on the other side and his face on my shirt. And that's what the stupid uh, Natalie Flower Dew Brown CIB police in Auckland arrested me with this shirt on with another one and arrested the king surrogate and that's she should be hung for that under our laws and she, I told I warned her not to do that I warned the court not to do that to me and they just went ahead and do it well they gonna they got a trillion pounds on their head and the, the, the taxpayers on the other side on their crown side will have to pay for it that's that's sorry about that but that's how it works you you do it to me and I do it to you in reverse. Okay, that's the Fakaminga Native Chiefs 1834.